This is Joe Pugh for IFL TV. We're here at the York Hall. Um, weren't really expecting to see you here, James, uh, today. But just to ask your interview, I'm going to kind of give you the mic and say just why are you here, mate? Basically, long story short, I've never ever been to one of these misfit shows in my life. In all fairness, I think it's very entertaining. Um, it's entertainment boxing um, at the end of the day. What brought me down here was I see an interview Idris Virgo done and he, uh, my name come up in conversation. And um, he says, James Hawley, no, I don't know who he is. Um, but the real truth about it, he knows exactly who I am because uh, when he was in the programme, um, this fight got mentioned and he went straight to the guy that trains me now, Danny, and uh, Danny said to him, Idris, stay well away from James if you want to have a boxing career. He will smash you. Dan was telling Idris for a long time, you're not good enough to be a pro boxer, go to Misfits Boxing. And it was Dan that got Idris with uh, Misfits. He had a uh, chat with Alexis. Um, it was a handshake. Um, basically, him and Alexis was going to have 10% each of Idris's purse. Long story short, he done my trainer over for a lot of money. Um, and basically... I'm just here to shut this uh, idiot up. He's uh, making a lot of noise, bullying YouTubers. And uh, he keeps giving it up to the likes of Billy Joe Saunders and Canelo and names like that. I'm not being funny. I mean, I've not trained for three or four months. I've got one hand after my operation. And I'd get in there tonight and I'd spank him with one hand behind my back. So just to be clear, the, uh, you're not coming here looking to start a Misfits career. Um, you start coming here to settle... Old scores with Idris Virgo, yeah? I'm just coming here to settle the, the score, like you said. Um, my trainer can't get in there and smash his face in, so I'm going to do it for him. And um, really and truly, we all know Idris ain't a liked person um, in this game in, on social media. And I'm, uh, I'm coming to bully the bully. Just last one then. Um, if it's not Idris next, we ain't heard from you in a while. What is going on with yourself? So um, I had an operation from an ongoing injury from about three or four years ago. Um, it was myself, the truth is, um, I was scared to have the operation because it was going to put me out of action for nine months. And um, my head is, is all over the place. Um, I always thought from the start, if I have this operation, I'll probably never return to boxing. Um, and I found it very hard lately. I actually hang the gloves up. Um, I didn't want to do anything. I hadn't trained for months. I've just got back in the gym two weeks ago. Um, so I've been battling day by day, but listen, I know how good I am. Everybody in my team, everybody around me knows how good I am. And um, as soon as I'm back from injury, I want the big fights and the big fights only. I'm not interested in any more, um, any more journeymen, any more easy fights. I want big fights, I want titles, and, and that's the way forward. Just very final thing, you got a message for Stris Virgo? Listen, Idris, when I get my hands on you, you are going to absolute shit your pants. And um, my only advice to you is keep well away, because when I get you, the bum hole's going to start squeaking and it ain't going to end well for you, son. <laughs> Excellent, Jase. Thank you very much for being to TV. Cheers, mate.